And let's do one more example because this is kind of important with polygroups and subtools and navigation and, and organization. Let's hit the comma key. Let's go to the tool menu. Double click the Ryan Kingsline anatomy model. Hit F to frame. And we have the skeleton selected by default. If you hit uh, solo, you're going to see the skeleton selected and then everything else in here uh, is muscles. So what you can do is you can go down here and you can see there's a delete other option. So if we do that one, that's going to delete everything except for the selected subtool, which was the skeleton. If we turn on polyframe here, you can see it's all one polygroup. If you go down to the polygroup menu, oops, and we do auto groups, that's going to put a polygroup for each non-vert welded object. So we hold down control shift to select rectangle. You're going to see it's going to select the thigh. And even though we have X symmetry, even though we have X symmetry turned on, when we hold down control shift and isolate by a polygroup, it's only going to isolate the one polygroup because it's looking for just polygroup information. If we want it to be the same on both sides, that's just another geometry modified topology mirror and weld. So now it's a symmetrical model, which may not be perfectly accurate, but for demonstration purposes is what I'm looking for. So now if you want to organize this by polygroups here, like say you want to put all of these teeth into one subtool, what I would do is hold down control shift to go to select lasso. I'd grab a little piece of these teeth, hit control shift A to grow all of them to their full object. Then we can hit control W to group visible, control shift tab to bring everything back. And now those are all grouped together. Now if you wanted the top and the bottom grouped separately, what you can do is you can isolate just the teeth here Hold down Control Shift and Alt, and we'll grab just a little, just a piece of this bottom one here. Control Shift drag to invert that selection. Control Shift A to grow again. Control Shift drag to invert that selection. Control W, and now that's in its own polygroup here. So that way you don't have to make super precise selections. You can kind of do grab a big chunk of it. Control Shift A, and that kind of narrows it down, and then you can isolate, get rid of these things get rid of most of these, control shift drag, control shift A, control shift drag again to invert, and then control W to polygroup that stuff. Now let's say you wanted the teeth and the jaw together. Since they're both one polygroup, I would just control shift tap and then invert. Same thing with the skull and the top teeth, control shift tap the skull, control shift drag to invert, control shift tap to send that top two selection to your skull, control shift drag to invert, control W to group visible, or it's technically group mass, clear mass, but since nothing's masked, it just groups visible. So that's one easy way to kind of organize your subtools into manageable pieces here. So let's practice like going through here and we'll go ahead and grab all of the chest area here, control shift drag to invert that. Go to the back here, control shift alt, and we have X turned on, so it's gonna go ahead and grab large portions of that. And we'll make sure we grab a little piece of these by holding Control Shift Alt. And again, it's when we're holding down Alt, it's sending these pieces to the hidden polygons. So Control Shift Drag to invert that selection to see them. Control Shift A to expand those selections to these. Control Shift Drag to make sure you got all the ribs. Control Shift Drag again. Control W make them all one polygroup. And now the ribs are all one polygroup here. We can go ahead and start splitting these off into their own subtools. Right now we just have one. So what I can do is I can hold down Control Shift and then tap the skull here. And if control shift select lasso is giving you trouble, like if you accidentally keep selecting edges and you're selecting edge rings or something, you can switch that back over to select rectangle. It'll be a little bit more predictable. So with this one isolated, what we can do is we can do split hidden under the subtool split menu. And now the head is in its own subtool. We can alt tap the other subtool or we can just go over here and select it in our subtools list. Now we can isolate the jaw. We can control shift drag to invert that and then do another split hidden just like we did before. And now the body will stay selected and then the jaw will split off. If you go into solo mode, now we're just here with the body. And it looks like these two little triangles here may have gone with the skull. If we want to, we can isolate these, split these off, merge down. Uh, but what I'm probably going to do is these don't look like I really need them. So I'm going to uh, control shift tap them, control shift drag, and then geometry, modify topology, delete hidden. So feel free to just go through and organize all of this. And it won't take as long as you think. Uh, like for example, the rib cage. And you see I've used my custom menu with split hidden here. So we can go ahead and split that off. And now we got most of the spine visible. So we can go as good and grab most of the spine here. Control shift A. We've got that. Let's go ahead and grab the sacrum too. We'll go ahead and split that off. The hands will put into one. Control Shift A, invert that. And if you accidentally don't grab everything, you can do like grab most of it, Control Shift A, invert it, and be like, oh, I missed some. I'll just go ahead and Control Shift tap those, invert that, Control W, 
split hidden. And you don't have to control W split hidden if you want. Like say you wanted to grab all the feet here, control shift, control shift A, invert that, make sure you grabbed everything. You can just go ahead and split those off. You can maintain their polygroups if you want to. Alt tap the body again. We'll go ahead and grab the lower arms, control shift A, split hidden. The upper arms are all in polygroup, so I can just split those off. We'll hit the down arrow, scapula. We'll select them, invert them, and then we can split them off so that I can keep these ones selected. It makes me move a little bit faster. The patella will keep up here with the thigh. And then the hips and the lower leg. So now we've got a bunch of different subtools here. You can go through and rename them if you want. You can go through and alt tap them if you want to. You're going to see it maintain the polygroups when we split them off if we wanted. Exactly how we like. And always remember if you watch the gizmo videos, you can go through here and if you want to move these arms together, you can hold down alt and reposition this pivot point here. And then you can turn on move multiple, hold down control shift, and then go ahead and unhatch these, and you can move all of these subtools at the same time. And then you can hatch this one, move that pivot point here. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Or just feel free if you if they're if they're simple enough. You can use W and you can move these things around. Or temporarily, if we want to merge these two, I'm going to hold down Shift. Shoot that to the bottom with a bent arrow. Alt tap the foot. Shoot that to the bottom. I know these two need to be merged. I'm going to go to merge down. So it's going to merge the bottom legs onto the feet. I can rotate these together. And then I can grab these top two. Control shift A. Split hidden. And now these are all separate subtools. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to pose. We'll get to those later as far as transpose master and Z-sphere posing. But for now, just using your subtools and the gizmo move multiple, you should be able to get pretty far.